Hey guys, how's it going? Um, this is a board that I've been waiting for for quite some time. I pre-ordered this deck back in February 2nd, uh, 2021 obviously, um, but it's still been like six months. I mean, what's the math on that? February to almost September now, we're getting part way through August. Um, so I've been waiting on this one, uh, which is the Powell Peralta Per Wellander, uh, the street model, as well as the Nikki G, and they were supposed to drop in March. Anywho, um, there was delays, uh, we heard that when they were coming in March, they were going to be pushed to June, uh, then it got pushed to July. Uh, we had seen a lot of guys in the U.S. getting the Per Wellanders, uh, uh, definitely, probably even in June, uh, but you guys had them a full month before we started seeing anything here in Canada. Um, I've seen a couple of my uh, friends on some of the Facebook groups get these boards, but ultimately, I've been waiting and it's been killing me because I'm seeing everybody do all of these posts. So you guys have probably seen this, but I wanted to do an unboxing for you guys anyways. And so I managed to pick this one up from the drive shop over in BC and uh, awesome guys. And I feel for them, honestly, like if you're a small skate shop, um, when guys do the pre-orders, um, you're hoping that Powell's going to send you the product. Um, so I don't definitely do not blame the drive shop for this at all. Uh, it's just unfortunately part of the process when we're trying to get stock from the states and what have you. Uh, I don't know if I'll do the pre-order process again. Um, again, no fault to the drive shop, but with Powell delaying the shipments, um, I've had my money tied up on two decks for an awfully long time. So at least six months, uh, which again is a bit of a pain um, because I could have bought and sold other boards with that money. Um, you know, anywho, let's get into opening this box. So shout out to the drive shop for making this happen finally. Um, I'm still waiting for my Nikki G from you guys. I'm stoked to get it though. Um, but let's just dive into this and then I'll go through the spec. So anybody that I know that has this board is just loving on it. Um, I regret, so I'm just giving it a quick cut here. I regret, uh, not getting the... Um, the Pink Pro Wellander. Uh, when I first really started getting into collecting skateboards, um, that was kind of the time. So it's only really been about a year, maybe a year and a half that I've been going pretty diehard with it. Um, you know, I like, like a lot of guys that get into it, they collect a lot of boards quickly and they move a lot of product. Um, and so anyways, yeah, it's been about a year. And so I missed out on that one. I didn't get it. And uh, it sold, and so instead of that one, I ended up getting the bug, which I don't have anymore. Um, but yeah, so I missed out on the pink Wellander, realized how hot it was, and I, I've always loved that graphic. It's such a killer graphic, um, but missed out on it. So let's pull this bad boy out. Oh, man. So stoked to see this guy in person. Here you guys go. You ready? Look at how sick that is. This is a keeper for sure for me. I am so stoked on this board. I've been waiting for this one to drop. And it looks so good. You know what, let's just, I'm keeping it. Let's pull this thing out of the shrink. I don't wanna do any damage here with my knife cutting into the paint or anything. Let's get this bad boy out of the shrink so you guys can take a look at it here. Um, hopefully this one is pretty square and I maybe should have, uh, did a look first because I do know that we have been having issues with even getting just warp decks from Powell um, right from the factory. Oh man, guys, that is so gorgeous. That color, like the pink is sick. Uh, there is a little bit of a mark there, whatever. Man, that is beautiful. Crazy good, crazy good. And so it's saying the 2020, I believe there, but in reality, uh, we're 2021 before we're getting our hands on these, so. Man, that is so good though. There you go. Very flat concave. There's the side profile of it. Gonna get rid of this. Let's just take a look and see what else is in the box here just so you guys can get a feel. So again, thank you for your order and support. If you have any questions or concerns, the Drive Skate Shop, check them out, guys. Um, awesome, you can find them on Instagram. And uh, I think they're just at the Drive Skate Shop, maybe. 
What else is, what's this? Oh, some laces, cool. Oh, that's sweet. Laces with the little sticker. Thanks for the extra stoke, guys. Appreciate that, love that. It's not often that you get extra stoke from a skate shop unless they're throwing in some stickers, but to get some laces are pretty cute. Oh, some extra slashes here as well. Tiller, let's pull these guys up. Sorry, uh, Dark Sea Division. Oh, some drive action going on there. Another drive sticker. And uh, the Skate Shoe Company, which um, honestly, I went through a bunch of stickers that I got off Amazon, I believe it was. And they had all these guys making fun of me because they had no clue what that was. But again, they didn't realize it, or they choose not to realize. Um, but when we were skating in the 80s, a lot of these brands didn't exist. So when I started getting back into collecting and I got this lot of skateboard stickers, well, to see some of these brands, I have no clue what they are. Um, because again, they're not, sorry, I'm sticking out right in front of my face. And then here we go. We've seen this one been pretty popular. I believe it was these guys. Um, a lot of guys were skating with these during the Olympics. Awesome. Thanks for the slaps, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, let's get back into the deck. So let's walk through just some of the specs and I'll give you a little bit of the history here. So I'm just reading off palperalta.com. I'll put a link in there. You guys can check it out. Um, but essentially, um, we know that the graphics done by the, you know, very popular um, Vernon Cortland Johnson, BC Johnson. Um, and he did many of the graphics back in the day for Powell. So the original um, skull and helmet here was 1984. Uh, and then it's 86, I believe. Yeah, so 86, they put the background graphics in it. Uh, and then in 87, and those were originally done for um, his freestyle deck because he does freestyle as well as street. Um, and then in 87, they came out with the street model. Yeah, so there we go. Sorry guys, I'm just doing a little reading here as we go. And so there's one thing that's cool. A lot of people wonder what all of this additional reading is around here. And so it says the 8th century runic stone lettering spells out Per's name as well as the background quote. So this is Per's name. And then the background quote around here says, search and strive, push beyond with strength, uh, yours, not theirs. That is the key. And so that's something that Per came up with. But pretty wicked. Um, this one is made in Mexico. Um, what else about it? It's saying that it's got the old school um, hole patterns. Let's just pull up my trusty Vision Psycho riser here and take a look and see. Yeah, that's definitely the old school hole patterns. So guys, if you're grabbing this board, uh, you're definitely going to want to ensure that your trucks, if they're indies, have the six hole base plates and or you have some old school um, patterns kicking around. For those of you guys who you know aren't afraid to drill decks, go ahead and do it. Um, I'm just not interested in that. I'd rather just get some mini six hole base plates and or try to get my hands on some uh, old school trucks. Anywho, all right, specs here. So the deck shape is the 193B. Uh, we actually see that right here as well in one of the stamps. They put the deck shape in that little number um, that you see in between the trucks. And so that says 193. Um, the concave is the SP3. Uh, the deck wheelbase, so measuring in between the trucks here, is 14.88. The full length of the deck is uh, 29.75. Uh, the deck width, so it's not that wide, um, is 9.62. The deck nose, Again, just from the top of the trucks there to the tip of the nose is 3.65. And the deck tail from the back portion of the truck holes here um, to the tip of the tail is 6.23. So there you have it, guys. I have been so stoked on this board. All right, so sorry about the cut. I try to keep it real with you guys, but my storage ran out on the phone. Anywho, let's finish this up. Again, here's the last look at it. So thanks Drive Shop for getting me this deck. Again, uh, no hard feelings on the time frame. Don't sweat it, guys. I know that it's just the process uh, and unfortunately out of your hands, but the delays and stuff. Anywho, stoked to finally get it. Looking forward to getting that Nikki G as well. So thanks for the laces and for all the additional slappies and stuff. It's great customer service, guys. Um, 
yeah, anywho, if you guys are enjoying it, feel free to subscribe, like, do what you do, share it around. Thanks so much. Peace out.